Hey guys, so today I'm doing another dragon shapeshifter. This one also doesn't have wings. I know I've been doing a lot of them where they don't have wings. I just wanted to more so focus on like playing around with the horns and stuff like this. So this is going to be named... I was going to call him Wine for no good reason, but the fact that, uh, I don't know. I felt that he looked kind of classy because I did technically give him a suit vest but it's on top of a sports jacket so to be honest yeah he's kind of classy and sporty at the same time. Wine also has four horns instead of two. I wanted to do two small horns in the front and then two um, big horns in the back. I honestly didn't know what to do for the hair to be honest i just kind of went for like dark colors when it came to the skin tones but for the hair i didn't really use a reference as much for the shape of it i just wanted something spiky to go along with the fact that he's wearing a bandana this was more so from a reference for a naruto um fan artwork to be honest i'm not a fan of like the ai artwork but last time I did a dragon drawing, I ended up looking at an AI artwork for Pose. And I just did it strictly for the Pose as a reference to kind of play around like that. But I didn't want to, like, do anything else with it. Um, but yeah, I don't watch Naruto, so there wasn't really a point in me drawing those unless you guys like specifically request in the comments then i'll definitely look into drawing those characters but because i don't watch naruto at all it was something that i wasn't quite interested in drawing just yet i was thinking about doing characters from that show but honestly i don't know depends if you guys like naruto or any other shows let me know in the comment section below like what characters you like and then from there i'll definitely look into drawing them um it's fun to practice characters that are more so out of your range in terms of comfort zone i would say like characters you don't necessarily like because the designs will be different from characters you do like i tend to always gravitate towards like characters that are similar because those are my personal likes but yeah you guys kind of get the gist of like when you're drawing artwork sometimes it's like just constantly your favorite things but then they end up being similar so yeah so for wine i decided to go with a dark green color i honestly didn't really like i was gonna go for a lighter green and i honestly didn't know what to color his skin to begin with but i decided to do like this dark muddy type of green because i thought it would be fun to play around with like darker skin tones i know this isn't a natural skin tone that like people would have but i feel like as a dragon shapeshifter it's okay it's more so in the realm of fantasy anyways for wine so yeah originally the pose was him holding a phone and taking a selfie it was more like a muscle thing. I feel like that would have been great practice for drawing muscles. I kind of used it to practice a little bit of muscles. I feel like for one, I kind of drew him a bit too skinny. But that's just me in terms of males. Um, but yeah, I do like practicing like the muscle lines when it comes to like the chest and stuff. So it's kind of in the same like style that I do stuff in. In terms of like what my major focus is i would say it's normally the muscles i kind of want to do like more realistic looking muscles for like anime style but it's hard especially like to get the proportions right and everything and i've been too used to drawing slimmer characters now because i've been looking at a lot of chinese manhwas so they're like fit characters but they're slimmer they're not more so buff characters. I know My Hero Academia was one of those animes that I was looking at when it came to like learning how to draw muscles and buff characters. But because I've been looking at too much Genshin Impact and Chinese menhaws, a lot of the time I just want to say the characters are not 
buff buff they're more so just fit i decided to do his hair as a golden color because honestly i didn't know what to actually color his hair i was gonna go for yellow but i thought golden would be nicer just dark contrast with each other in terms of color if you see strands of hair going onto the screen what I'm drawing like I saw in like a couple clips just before this one, it's because there was a fan on at the time when I was actually drawing. So if you guys see my hair go on screen, I apologize. It was not supposed to be in the frame, but it somehow got there because my hair is long and then when I draw, I don't tie up my hair. So sometimes it's just blowing near the near the phone that I use to record I wanted a more playful type character a lot of the characters that I normally draw in terms of dragon shapeshifters I kind of make them more serious and edgy I want a more playful type character so he's like not super serious he still loves people a lot of my dragon shapeshifter shapeshifters come from like they're supposed to be characters that actually like taking care of people and in their realm they live amongst people and some people don't like them but other people do it's kind of like a 50 50 and the dragon shapeshifters are supposed to care about people no matter what and just protect them in general even if they are like a discriminated race i feel like that's the type of story i'm trying to go with when it comes to like my dragon shapeshifters I ended up liking the green more than I thought I would because it looks more reptilian. A lot of my, like some of my shapeshifters I ended up making more human-like. But this green actually brings out more of the reptile side of the character. So I actually like it a lot. I kept some of the orange that was in the original jacket from the reference that the character was wearing. Again, it was technically Naruto, <laughs> um, but yeah. And then I made everything else white, including his suit vest is white. I kind of didn't really make the suit vest overly detailed. I just made it kind of like a bit loose. It's not too detailed. Here I am outlining it. I haven't played around with drawing like characters with shorter hair as often as I thought I would because I ended up liking a lot of characters that had longer hair. So you'll notice a lot of my like shapeshifter drawings and character drawings in general are characters that have longer hair because I've been into that recently and I actually love long hair on guys because it looks super pretty when it comes to like the anime characters. However, for wine, I decided to just make it that it was short hair, short and spiky, which is typically what I would like on a guy to be honest in terms of preference. But that's more of like, I don't know, I feel like that was more of like when I was younger. But nowadays when I look at like guys with like longer hair, if it's anime characters, I feel like I like, the, I like those more. But that's basically it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And to share, I can't even speak right now. Um, also, check out in my description box below all my social medias there. You can like and follow those. I'll definitely be posting photos of Wine's process work, like his sketch and like his coloring. So yeah. But I'm still posting a whole bunch of stuff. So you'll be able to see a lot of my artworks there. If you have any requests for any characters that you like specifically from any shows or um, shows, movies, 
video games, etc. You can let me know in the comment section below if you want to see me draw your favorite character in my style. I don't mind drawing new characters, honestly. It's kind of dull when it comes to, like, trying not to get artist block because you're, like, just drawing characters that you like. However, I feel like characters that I don't like will have a different aesthetic, so... It'd still be fun to draw, so if you have any requests, let me know. And check out my drawings playlist. All of my um, drawings are there. You'll definitely see more dragon shapeshifters there. For wine, honestly, I made his ears more human. I forgot to mention this. Um, I decided to make him have human ears because I'm normally so focused on making them have like dragon type ears or like elf type ears. But this time, I kind of wanted to make him a little more humanoid when it comes to, like, his face. Except for the fact that he has horns and, of course, his skin color. I just love playing around with, like, the little details here and there. Let me know if you guys have any ideas for any other drawings. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. That's basically it. Just finishing up the drawing. And I did add some, like, white scars to his body. They're just supposed to be, like, some sort of scratches that he has as a design. Not really anything. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Bye!